Hey everybody, welcome back to Ripping for Ripkins. It's Corey and we're back with baseball this week and we will be opening a 1997 Series 1 box. These boxes have gone up a little bit. Not recently, they've actually dropped, but overall they have uh, really exceeded their $125 guaranteed value because this particular set contains the Adrian Beltre rookie card, which recently PSA 10, I saw a sale somewhere in the $1,400 range. And that's pretty uh, astronomical. I was shocked to see the price. So we're gonna be in here looking for that. I do have this set completed, but I was gonna keep a sealed box. And then these things keep staring at me. Autographs of Jones, Jeter, Walker, and 43 other prospects and stars. Bowman's best preview refractors and atomic refractors and scouts on a roll. Like I said, a middle of the road kind of stars after Beltre, uh, like Mark Kotze, Milton Bradley, um, Jose Cruz Jr. was the major prospect back then. Well, what I'm doing is kind of trying to keep my, my rookie box going with, I keep my Bowman and my Topps rookies. I just had a stack sitting here. There's a Messina and Bowman, and there's a Machado Bowman, Devers, Bryce Harper, Freddie Freeman, that's Barry Zito's, JV, and Vladdy Daddy. Sorry about the glare on that, but I had that stack sitting there of my Bowman rookie cards. So I do try to collect those in the Bowman and Topps only. I can't chase after every rookie card or else I'd never see the finish line. I'd always be chasing after the same guys because Guerrero and Tatis and them. Oh, speaking of Tatis, 97 is the home of the Fernando Tatis rookie card, not 2019. Of course, I'm talking about senior, but we're going to get into this one and possibly rip series two very shortly. Let's set it up like a card shop. I always love doing this, setting it up card shop style and just grabbing a stack and ripping into it. I'm hoping these aren't too bricked up. That one feels kind of solid in there, but I guess we will see in a moment. We're going to see what awaits us in here, but we'll also be looking in series two for Roy Holiday, but I'm really chasing these inserts in this set. And this was the design. You had the blue and the red. The blue are your prospect cards. Todd Green, Jacob Cruz, and they flip them back and forth. So Brett Tomko. R.A. Dickey, he was a pretty good knuckleball pitcher. Braden Looper, and this is the international. Darren Blood is the card on that one, Castillo. And then here's our veteran players, Robbie Alomar, Mike Stanley, and sticking to Mike Stanley is Ray Ordonez. And of course, the great checklist card we always love. So the International is a nice card, especially if you hit one of the major uh, rookies in that. But I'm going to break out my blade because I'm having such a hard time grabbing a hold of these. My fingers are completely worn out. And here is a guaranteed value card. You send that in and redeem that for $125 certificate from Bowman. Like I said, on this set, I feel like you get your value. And these are kind of bricky right here. They're not really sticking too terribly, but they are 
feeling bricky. And did you see, that is a backwards card. We're gonna see what that is. Jeff Abbott and Richie Sexton are the two cards there. And Milton, sorry, I got distracted. I just thought I saw the, uh, I thought my refractor was a good one, but it's not, it's Blake Stein, Tino Martinez, Pat Klein, That is a nice one right there, though. Derek Wallace and Derek Jeter. So, a nice looking 97 Bowman Jeter. Pulling Jeter is always a... I'm not a fan of Jeter, but for, for trading and selling your cards, you always enjoy getting cards like that. So, I'll put him off to the side and we'll... I'm sure move him along as swiftly as possible to the Yankees fan. I am not a Yankees fan, obviously. If you didn't know by my channel name, I am an Orioles fan. A long, long suffering Orioles fan. All right, so let's get into it. Let's find us one of these big rookies. Check this out. So this is the Eric Chavez, no, not, no name on front. I am just blown away by this. Almost positive it's, they don't come this way because I have an Eric Chavez card. So that is huh, quite interesting. And there is the biggest pull of my life, right? It's 1990. Uh, seven, I am going absolutely bonkers for this card. Jose Cruz Jr., I probably will keep that strictly for nostalgia purposes because it is such a iconic card from back in the day. It's kind of like the 1980, what, 89 Greg Jeffries. It's just iconic, and it's a failure. But... Jason Brewster, I'm still sh still torn up by that. Uh, Eric Chavez, Sean Maloney, and Matt Halloran is the international. So no big hits on the international yet. Barry Larkin, Jason Kendall, Primetime, Deion Sanders, Chipper, Larry Wayne Jones, and there's another another uh checklist so two of the bigger stars chipper jones and derek jeter along with the jose cruz jr first bowman we're still gonna search out for this beltre because when i saw the prices of the, that psa 10 i just i knew i have to go after it i have to get because it's nothing there's nothing on that card that's going to make it go down because he will be a hall of famer in a few years so it's a good time to go after his cards and try to pick them up before he gets the call jose guillen is the backwards card jamie bluva steve rain and john smoltz is the international that's a decent one right there so i'll keep that one the smoltzy couple Braves as far as the first few packs are concerned. Joe Long, Max Suzuki, Al Martin, and Manny Ramirez. Manny will always be remembered as one of the most feared hitters back in the 90s. He just... His failed test is just too much for him to overcome. But he was an absolute beast. I was looking over the, the recent voting trends today and it's kind of actually surprised to see the, the votes for Ortiz being as high as they are. 
Billy Koch. I think he's going to be a I think he's going to be a box keeper probably. Billy Koch, first bowman. So we'll put him down. He's probably gonna be the first one to go in my box, along with the Jose Cruz Jr., but for different reasons. The backwards card of Matt Clement. And there it is. Oh yes. Four packs in. And we got something else behind it. So I need to take a pause right there. Because there's something behind the bell tray. I don't know what it is, but I just want to take a moment to check this card out. The left to right is going to be off on it, but it is a nice clean looking bell tray. So future Hall of Famer. And there is the Scouts honor roll. No more Garcia Parra. That is card number 15 in the set. I'm not sure if I've ever seen these. So big, big fan of these inserts from the, from the early and late, early 2000s, late 90s. But nice bell tray. I'm gonna go ahead and get him in the sleeve now. And he will go into my rookie box for my Bowmans. So that's a nice hit in the first stack. I'm gonna put that up there with a no name on front. Um, Rob Nan, Bernard Gilkey, Stoll, and Matt Williams finish off the first stack. So not too shabby. Got the bell tray. Got a Billy Koch. So I'm gonna take that and leave those three up there for now. Pretty nice. Very curious about this card. And of course the cards I will keep. So we're going to stack number two and I wonder if that means the potential for two bell trays in one box. Because That would be pretty nice. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed along this process and I'm gonna rip the whole stack. That way I don't have to wait for me to cut them every time and I can just motor on through them. I say I can motor on through them. But I always end up cutting those tops off right there in the center. I'll just cut those three and we'll we'll go ahead and go. And we'll cut the other three next. So a little bit bigger stack for me to go through. Shane Moynihan or Monahan. Kevin Brown. Felix Aradia, that is his first bowman. Todd Dunwoody. Justin. Toll or Tolly Tau Juan Mello is the refractor international Mark McGuire. I think I think I have that, but I'll set him on a good stack. Vladimir Vladimir Nunez. There's the Sosa. Man, that's one did not want to come off. Tony Clark. Head of the Players Union, Matt Morse, Jeff Farnsworth, another backwards Chris Widger, Michael Barrett, sticking is just aggravating enough to slow me down. Bruce Chen's probably the best international we've hit so far. Mindy Lopez. Say Mike Lansing, Jeff Kent, who again is not going to get enough votes. He's definitely been snubbed.
propaganda piece, Homer Bush, Derek Gibson of the Rockies, Josh Paul, Mark Bellhorn, that's another middle of the road, Richard Heldago, Jeff Abbott is the international, there's the Mo, the only 100% vote into the Hall of Fame, which I wonder if Ichiro, I do kind of think that Ichiro may challenge that. But I'll sleeve up the Rivera, put him, put him down there, and the last few cards are Klesko, Harold Baines, Roger Clemens with the Blue Jay uniform, which I still can't get used to ever seeing this card. Another checklist. But Clemens, year 10, doesn't look like he's going to make the Hall of Fame, but he's going to be pretty close. And it's a shame because he truly is one of the greatest to ever lace him up and step on the mound. And Barry Bonds is one of the greatest hitters to ever do it and step in the box. And both of them are going to be potentially left out of the Hall of Fame, along with the greatest hitter of all time, Pete Rose. And Alex Rodriguez probably won't. I don't know. He may get in because of his affiliation with the league. But the Hall of Fame is just... It's really going to be disappointing to see some of the best players to ever do it not be in there. I think as fans, yes, we understand they also are, are human. They're going to make mistakes. Just put an asterisk next to her name. <coughs> Excuse me. Put an asterisk. Put them in a separate wing, whatever. Just make a steroid wing. Make a note that Pete Rose gambled on baseball. It didn't affect how many hits he had on the field. Roger Clemens... Just make a wing, and it's a museum. Let us let us see them. So, off my soapbox. That's it. I'm done. Let's go. Nelson Figueroa. Backwards card. Ugeth Urbina. Bartolo Colon when he was skinnier. <laughs> So finishing off stack number two right here, the bottom left stack. Ricky Metallico is the international. Kareem Garcia, the legend. Carlos Gar Carlos Guillen, Geronimo Bo Baroa. It's late at night and I'm having trouble speaking apparently. There's the Juan Gonzalez. Another checklist. I feel like I've gotten a ton of checklists. There's another checklist on the back. I was hoping to hit a nice insert in the first two stacks, but Jason Dixon, Kerry Wood is the first Bowman, and that's a pretty nice one. I'll uh, keep that one as well. Even though his career was cut short, he was a pretty... Dominant, of course, we were just talking about Roger Clemens, and he tied his record of strikeouts in the game. I actually broke his record. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Bowman Scouts honor rolls, Dimitri Young. I believe Dimitri Young was the one that had a card collection. But there are his numbers. He is card number one in this set. Paul Molitor, Spezio, Alomar for the second time, which gives me hope. One of the most feared hitters. Albert Bell with the White Sox. Nephi Perez. Matt Wagner. Oh, I was going to say this feels weird. Ruben Rivera. Bubba Trammell, first Bowman. And John Wetland is the international. And you notice the international has the flag of the 
country of the player. Most of them are going to have stars and stripes, but there are going to be an occasional international, like Panama. They'll have a different flag in the background, but they're still all going to be international refractors. There's the kid, a nice Griffey. I always like pulling Griffey and Tops and Bowman products. So nice Griffey. Sleeve him up. Save him. Dante Powell. Bobby Bow with the Marlins. And Jason Giambi just finishes this one off with a checklist. So first two stacks, first half the box. Our major cards have not really changed. We got the Kerry Wood and Billy Koch kind of sharing that third position. Eric Chavez in the second position, only because he has no name on the front. I actually have to do some research and see what that card is supposed to look like. I don't remember that ever being the case, but I do have a full set in the on the shelf behind me, so I can put that out and take a quick glance and see what the card's supposed to look like. Todd Dunn. David Veris, the backwards card, Chris Widger, Reggie Taylor, Jason Kendall is the international. It's a nice, probably one of the nicest ones, if not the best one. John Valentin, Jay Payton, Russ Johnson, and Ventura finishes off that pack. I don't recommend anybody cutting those like that because it's definitely not the safest way to open them. I just, I just lack a little bit of patience and, and wanting to rip these. So I always just cut them right where the seal is right there and then pull that out. And once you pull that out, it just, it'll tear right down that seam. without having to damage the cards. So again, right to the where the seam is, push through, rip that off, and tear straight down the back. Three packs open, let's see what we got. I still had three packs left. I think I had an extra pack sitting over there because I already had opened one. Brad Penny. And again, sorry for the glare. Um, Maeda, I think there's a Hideki Arabu, if I'm not mistaken, too. I didn't bring him up. I just remembered seeing him. I thought it was going to be Arabu, but he's got a first bowman. Brian Rose. Mel Rojas is your international Chuck Knobloch, Will Clark, Ken Caminiti. So some stars to finish off that one. Edwin Diaz is the backwards card. Still not sure why they have the backwards card. Tory Hunter, who was on the ballot this year. Eugene Kingsale. Remember him being an Oves fan. There's an Andy Bennis International. Billy Wagner did not get enough love either. Craig Biggio, a Hall of Famer. Again, a second Will Clark. There is a Deo Mania. The Deo Nomo. Sidney Ponson, that is his rookie card. You got to keep him out because he's an Oriole. First Bowman. Chad Hamrinson, Jeff Jenkins, Ricky Lade, first Bowman. So you see there's a lot of them in here. Calvin Pokey Reese, 
International, nice. And there is his Bowman Prospect card. There is a probably one of the better middle of the road guys in this set, Milton Bradley. He is not the board game maker, but he was a decent player. Hold him off the side. Another Will Clark and Ray Langford. So I think that's three Will Clarks in this box already. A couple of Roberto Alomars. So I'm holding out hope that maybe there'll be a second Beltre in here. At least it's my hope. So punch it out, rip it down. Go ahead and open these three packs and we'll be left with just one stack remaining after this in the search for a second Beltre or a second no-name. Actually, I don't want the no-name to be another one because I want that to be like an anomaly. Just absolutely nuts that that, ball, that, that card had nothing on it. I'm probably going to end the video and realize that they're all like that. <laughs> Oh, but it does feel good right now. So Bruce Chen. There's Wilton Guerrero. The backwards, El uh, Eric Milton. Terrence Long. Thompson. The International of Chris Gissel. Gissel. Geisel. Eric Young, Andy Bennis, Aaron Boone, Prospect, Will Clark again. Put him on the list, Paul. Paul doesn't watch this channel, but if he did, I would tell him to put him on the list. Pee Wee Lopez. There's a Paul Canerco Prospect card. Calvin Pickering. He was a Prospect for the Orioles, first Bowman card. I guess I should probably keep him because it's his first Bowman and he's an Oriole. And that's usually my rule. First Bowman, rookie cards, whatever. I'll keep those. Because if anybody's ever out looking for him, oh, we did get a Bowman best preview. You see the, where's the number at? There it is. BBP. Bowman's best preview. 20 of Maeda. So it's kind of a pleasant surprise. I'll, it's not really worth much. <clears throat> but these inserts are always fun and cool to pull. Especially when they're unexpected like that. Sorry about the glare. Carl Pavano. Another Will Clark. Oh my goodness, this is going, it's getting out of hand now. Brett Boone, Willie565. If you watch this, buddy, this box was made for you. The Will Clarks continue to be pulled. Matt Clement, again. Dave Coggin, Willie Martinez. Man. A lot of sticking. Javier, Javier Valentin. There's a Hall of, uh, Hall of Famer. I thought it said Edgar Martinez. Edgar Renteria. Freddie Garcia. And the Eck. Dennis Eckersley. The man. The myth. The legend. Cal Ripken Jr. I have this card in a PSA 10 already. That is a very... Nice looking finish though. So that obviously will get a penny sleeve. It's very nice. It's very, very nice. Ripken. I'll set him in the big good stack, the keeper stack. And we'll get into the final stack. Next up will be uh Next thing I'll be opening is either going to be the 99 Bowman Chrome football as I start going in order for the football rips or the 97 Series 2 
that'll be looking for the Roy Holiday uh, rookie card and international refractor or international foil card. Chad Green, Ortega. Let's see in the last stack if we can find another Beltre. I'm going to will it into existence. Two Beltres would be amazing to go along with a no name on front. There is the Hideki Arabu who has passed away, but that is his first Bowman card. So definitely put him up there. He was definitely one of the top prospects in this set. Put him up there with the Beltre, beside the Beltre, but not covering the Beltre. Eric Karros, International. As I get my battery, got my battery alarm. So somebody remind me to plug this in. Vinny Castilla, Carlos Delgado. Delgado was a beast. So we're going to speed this baby back up and finish off these last few packs since I have a low battery warning. That one did not tear to my liking, but we'll still make it work. We'll do two at a time and see if we can finish this with a bang. Another nice hit. Danny Patterson. Andrew Jones came out a little bit of paper loss on him. Eric Milton again turned backwards. Chris Fussel, Fussel. Oh, check out this refractor. The Bowman's best, Miguel Tejada. That is the refractor. That is a pretty nice one. Love these inserts. Especially when you only get like one per box or one potentially on in a box. So that's kind of sick. I like that. Henry Rodriguez. Cirillo. Black Jack McDowell. I'm gonna put that off to the side because I might get him to sign that car. That's a that's a nice looking card to sign. He does coach the hometown Burlington Sock Puppets, or at least he did last year. I'm not sure what's going to happen this year, but they may be the only ones playing baseball because they are going to extend his lockout until one side flinches. So I definitely believe pitchers and catchers will be scheduled to report and will not report on time. Chris Benson, this is his first Bowman rookie card. Chris, Berm, Chris Benson's wife was actually more popular than he was. There is a nice one right there. The Billy Wagner International. That is a nice card. I will definitely keep that one. And by far the best international that I've pulled. But that's kind of the reason I want to open these boxes is for these, these inserts and cards. Chris Carpenter. Derek Wallace, Kevin Brown, and Ricky Vitalico. Checklist. Okay, we're down to the last two packs. I appreciate you guys checking this out. Oh, sorry, three packs, so I'll go ahead and cut them all. I hope you enjoy this. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by and welcome. Like I said, I enjoy for the most part, opening baseball boxes. But now, this year, I will be doing a series and ripping 1999 hobby boxes for, I guess, the entire year because there's so many 99 cards that I'm going to need. Um, chasing down Champ Bailey's rookie cards. So I'm going to have a lot of fun, and I'm going to find a lot of cards my last video, I did find a nice rookie auto in my first box. So, Darren Erstad, first Bowman, definitely one of the 
one of the better first Bowmans in this first series. If I can get that off of there. There we go. I don't want to cover up belt ring. Who's again? Brad Fulmer. Fulmer, let's find another bell tray before we get out of here and before the battery dies. Larry Rodriguez, first Bowman International. There is the mining for Mondesi. Raul Mondesi. The epic one right there. So now we are mining for Mondesi. Kevin Ori, Eric Karros, Tim Salmon. Used to be a big chase for the Mariners. And there we got it, the Tatis rookie. It's, uh, it's over. We got the Tatis rookie card. That is Fernando Tatis Sr. And that is his rookie card. 97 Bowman. Not 2019. Darren Blood, Matt Clement again turned around. Let's find another bell tray. No, it's going to be a Bowman's Best preview. Gary Sheffield. Very nice. I love these cards. These 90s Bowman Best. I just love these. Love these Bowman's Best in the late 90s. Can't beat it. Wade Boggs, as I race the clock. Levon Hernandez, Steady Eddie Murray with the Angels, which I barely remember his career in in Anaheim or California, I guess back then. John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. Last few prospects in this box: Mark Redman. Jonathan Johnson, Todd Dunwoody. Looks like we're not going to get another Beltray, but we did get a Chris Benson International. So that's not bad. Enrique Wilson, Jeff D'Amico, and the final card of the break is, oh, is it Brian Hunter? No, it's Checklist. Brian Hunter was the final player card of the break. So not a shabby break at all. Definitely enjoyed doing that. Um, some of the, the key ones, you guys don't care about my Orioles, but I will keep those out. Milton Bradley, Billy Koch, Kerry Wood, Fernando Tatis, Hideki Arabu, Darren Erstad, the biggest player pull obviously and the best card in the set is the adrian beltre future hall of famer rookie card i saw psa 10 recently like i said 1400 1500 range so very nice and definitely worth the money to rip this product cool inserts bowman's best with the refractor and of course the maeda and these scouts on a roll cards. No more, probably the better one in that. And a few stars to go along with it. So, awesome break. Be back with Series 2 later on uh, down the road next week, I, I imagine. I'm just getting back to kind of making videos I, after a pretty long hiatus. But I enjoy doing it, and I got to get myself back into the, the habit. So... If you know anything about the Eric Chavez, no name on front, please drop me a comment. Let me know what this, what's up with this card because it's amazing. Thank you guys for stopping by. Until next time, later guys.